Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the first Valentine's set in a little Valentine's series that I'm going to be doing on my channel. So do hit subscribe so you don't miss the following videos that will be coming after this one. So onto the set, I've sculpted a thin acrylic base on my Glamourless practice hand and then on the pointer finger I'm coming in with this beautiful glitter from Charlie's Nail Art. I did recently do a Valentine's Nail Art haul so I will leave that linked in the cards above if you guys would like to check that out. And I'm just placing this glitter down using a small bead of clear acrylic, patting and nudging it into place. I'm just trying to keep it nice and thin so I don't add any extra bulk to the nail. And I've blended out the back of it because I'm going to come over the top with some acrylic. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the little finger but with this blue glitter instead. I do have a discount code for Charlie's Nail Art and I also have one for Glamour Liz because I'm using my Glamour Liz hand here today. So I will leave them in the description box below for you guys if you do want to check out either of those companies. And as always, all of the products I use, I always list them below just in case I miss out mentioning what they are in the video. So this set for my Valentine's series is called Boy Meets Girl because I'm going to come in over the top of these glitters with some little hearts that were named Boy Meets Girl. So they were my inspiration behind this set. But for now, I'm just coming back to that pointer finger with a wet bead of Amore. So Amore is from CJP and I'm using the complete CJP system today. And I've used this quite wet because I want it to blend over the glitter. But I still want it to be semi-transparent so you can see that glitter through it. I didn't want to go for a full-on opaque look. And now I'm going to come in with a more medium consistency bead at that cuticle area. I'm just patting and pressing it with the tip of my brush to get a nice clean cuticle area. And then I'm going to blend that down over the previous bead of acrylic. Not taking it too far down over the glitter because I want it to be quite a subtle blend. And also with a more here, I've built up my cuticle and apex area, so I only have to cap the glitter and the fade when it does come to encapsulating at the end of the set. So here I'm going to come in with the Boy Meets Girl hearts that I mentioned. And as you can see, there's some pink, blue and like a pearl white matte hearts in this little set. And I'm just going to pop two pink hearts over the pink glitter. Now... I got so into doing this set and I was really enjoying doing it and I had to pause recording and then stupidly I forgot to hit play. So it cut out doing the little finger and this first step on the ring finger. But basically on the little finger all I did was exactly the same as the pointer finger except using the blue hearts. And then on the ring finger I've done a layer of a more. And then I'm just coming in with a little dot in the center and then some of those hearts and I'm just creating like a little flower shape. And I'm working on top of the tacky acrylic. So these aren't actually set in place. So I can move them around quite easily with my brush until I'm happy with their placement. I did faff about with it a little bit. Um, I decided that it didn't work how I'd done it going pink, blue, pink. So I added in one of the whites and then I wasn't happy where the white one was. So I did faff around with it a little bit, but I just wanted it to sort of fit a little bit better. But like I said, I'm working on top of that tacky acrylic. So the hearts aren't set in place, but I do just pop a thin wash of clear acrylic over the top of them to keep them in place whilst I'm working on the rest of the nails. And then at the end, I will fully encapsulate the nail. So I placed that white one here and I just, I don't know, I, didn't, I wasn't 100% happy with it. So I swapped it around with one of the pink ones and then brought them all in a little bit closer. But where they weren't applied with any additional clear acrylic, it did mean that I could easily move them around until I was happy with how they're placed. So I hope all of that makes sense.
And then once I finally had finished faffing around with this now, I do move on to the middle finger where I'm coming in with a more to do an extended nail bed. So I place that bead of acrylic down, I'm blending out the back of the bead and then I'm just patting and pressing that acrylic, pointing the finger downwards so it all flows into place very easily. And I'm just guiding the acrylic to where I want it to be, using the sides and the belly of my brush for different things and just... Yeah, I'm just neatening it up and trying to keep it all going into the shape that I'm aiming for without having to do too much work. I hope that will make sense. The more work that you do with your brush, the less work you'll have to do with your file later on. So I just find it makes life that little bit easier. However, I do still come in with my file and really crisp up the edges of that smile line once it's set in place. And then here I'm coming in with my cuticle and apex bead. I did have a little chunk of dried acrylic stuck in there. So that was what I was just digging out. But I've placed that down. I'm getting my cuticle area nice and flush. And then I'm putting that bead down over the previous bead of acrylic. I did find that I decided the apex just wasn't built up enough for the length of the nail. So I come in with another small bead just to build that up slightly. And then I will leave this to set before filing. However, what I decided to do was whilst this was setting, I decided to cap the rest of the nails so that when I file in my smile line, none of that dust is landing on my glitter. I did decide to leave in encapsulating just one nail because I thought I would show you guys how I encapsulate my fades. So because like I said, when I was doing this now, I've built up the cuticle and apex area with a more. So I only need to cap the glitter and the blend to protect those from when I'm filing. So I'm just making sure that all that glitter is fully encapsulated. And I'm just making sure that I'm building up the rest of my strength and structure with my clear trying to keep everything as nice and as even and as smooth as possible. I'm always trying to get as much work as I done, can done with my brush so that I have minimal filing to do because I absolutely hate filing. And then I went off camera, encapsulated the rest of the nails and filed that smile line nice and crisp. And then I'm going to come in first of all with that blizzard glitter mix and I'm just placing that down along the edge of the extended nail bed, keeping everything nice and thin but also making sure that I get right down into those wings with the glitter so that there's no pieces missing or any gaps because it will ruin the effect. So I'm keeping my brush nice and wet. I have switched to a smaller brush for this step just because I find it slightly easier to make sure I can get right down into those wings without touching what would be the skin. And then I'm just coming in with a little bit more of that blue glitter just so it really pops and I'm just fading it out towards the free edge because at the free edge I'm going to come in with the pink glitter. And I'm picking the glitter up with really teeny tiny beads of clear acrylic because I really don't want to add any bulk, especially at the free edge of the nail as this is where you will notice that you'll get really thick chunky nails. So I'm just trying to keep everything as thin as possible. And then I'm going to come back in with those hearts and I'm just popping a pink one over the blue glitter and a blue one over the pink glitter. And when I was encapsulating all of these nails, it kind of come into my mind that these would make really good baby shower or gender reveal nails, the whole pink and blue theme. So they're really versatile and can double up for your baby shower nails. And then I went off camera, capped them all in my crystal glass clear acrylic filed and shaped them all, buffed over them with my white buffing block and then I went away and washed the hand in some warm soapy water just like I would if I was doing my own nails to make sure all of that dust is completely removed and then I'm coming in with my CJP tack free top gloss. I'm going to give all of the nails a really nice even coat of this before popping them in my LED lamp and curing for 60 seconds. So I absolutely loved doing this set. I thought they looked super, super cute. I was so pleased with how they turned out. 
I loved every single nail and I really enjoyed doing this set. It was really fun and it was nice to have a bit of a theme to go with. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like I said, it's the first in a little Valentine series. So do keep your eyes out for the next couple of videos. I will probably also still pop up some other videos like maybe some hauls and things like that. But all of the nails I'm going to be doing between now and Valentine's Day will all be Valentine's inspired. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and comment. And if you're watching and not already subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you hit subscribe. Thank you all so much. Bye bye.